Yes, it's finally happened. Thanks to the amazing work by the Asahi Linux team, we now have actual Proton support on the Mac that promises to eventually provide the compatibility and speed of games running on the Steam Deck. So if you didn't know already, Asahi is a project to dual boot Linux on Apple Silicon Macs, and this is not an easy task because this is an open source project composed of volunteers with zero support from Apple, and they've had to reverse engineer everything required to get Linux working bare metal on a Mac, including audio, keyboard, trackpad, Bluetooth drivers, and everything else from scratch. And it's been a huge uphill battle to get games working on Linux on a Mac, and this is really exciting because if Linux could work on Mac hardware, then it could potentially run Windows games as well as the Steam Deck can through Proton. Now, in order to achieve this goal, the Asahi team have a huge challenge ahead of them. And here I'll let Alyssa explain the huge problems they've had to overcome at her recent talk at XDC. We have a lot of problems if we want to run AAA games on this hardware. Our target game is using DirectX, Windows, and x86 on a system with 4K pages. And our target hardware, like this MacBook here, is running literally none of those things. So we want to translate somehow DirectX into Vulkan, Windows into Linux, x86 into ARM64, and 4K pages into 16K pages. And these are huge challenges to overcome. Here, the Asahi team need to find a way to translate x86 Windows games to the Mac's ARM64 chip architecture, which they decided to use and improve upon the open source project FX, which is an alternative to Apple's Rosetta 2. They also had to create a new Vulkan 1.3 driver from scratch, which they called Honeycrisp, which in itself is a huge undertaking. And the last piece of the puzzle which has been plaguing them for some time was to solve the issue of page size, of which the Apple Silicon Mac uses 16k pages and x86 Windows games all use 4k pages. An ingenious solution to this was the creation of MovieM, where Steam is run in a micro virtual machine and can run at about 90% of native speed, which is absolutely amazing. And then the question that everyone asking is, does this actually work? And yes, it does work. And the best thing about it is that you can try this out right now. So in this video today, I'm going to be testing out some of the AAA games that you can run through Proton on Asahi Linux on an Apple Silicon Mac. I'll also show you how to quickly install Steam on Asahi Linux and get Proton up and running. And we're going to be seeing whether an Apple Silicon Mac could replace your Steam Deck. And before we get started, I just want to mention one thing. I know this is not a sponsored video. As you might have seen in a previous video I made about YouTuber burnout, I've committed myself to running a half marathon this Sunday to raise money for the Avalina's Children's Hospital, where my daughter was treated in the past. I'm hoping to raise more funds, so I'll leave a link in the description for my Just Giving page. The response from last time has been absolutely amazing, and we smashed the goal. However, no one has donated for the last 10 days or so, and I've recently been overtaken in the charity leaderboards. So if you have any spare funds, then please help help to support this amazing children's hospital and think of me on Sunday running my very first half marathon in London. So let's get started dual booting this operating system on your Mac. If you want to install a side Linux on your Mac, it's fairly straightforward, although it's not for the faint hearted. All you have to do is go to the asylinux.org website, which I'll leave a link to in the description, and then copy and paste the terminal command onto your Mac. Then just follow these step-by-step -step instructions in order to proceed. It's pretty much the same as my previous tutorials, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. The process is going to be really fast. It took about 14 minutes to boot into the Asahi Linux desktop, and I wasn't trying to do this particularly quickly. It's very user-friendly and straightforward. Just be aware that this does come at your own risk. A lot of inexperienced users have wiped their entire Mac desktops, lost tons of data, and even bricked their bootloader. So don't do this unless you're willing to accept the risks. So once you've booted up, just go through the standard setup, then open up a terminal window known as the console, and then use the command sudo dnf upgrade to update Asahi Linux to the latest version, which has the Vulkan 1.3 drivers included. Once the Mac restarts, then all you have to do is type in sudo dnf install steam into console once again. Then this is automatically going to download steam into its own micro VM known as MUVM. Then just do a search for Steam and then open this up. And this might take quite a long time to load up on its first boot up. It's just building everything in the background. And once it's done, it's going to boot up into big picture mode on Steam. Now, I actually do recommend using big picture mode. It's actually the most stable in this form. However, it's going to get very, very laggy. So just be aware of that. If you do exit big picture mode, then you'll be prone to a lot more crashes. This is very unstable at the moment. You can use a controller to navigate big picture mode as well as your mouse or keyboard. All you have to do is power it up via Bluetooth. You can also use wired controllers too, which Alyssa managed to do on stage. And then just go ahead and then log into Steam and then you'll get access to your full library. So the first game that we tested out was Portal 2. So this managed to work surprisingly well. We're running this at 4K at the high graphics preset. 
And this is not actually using Proton yet. This is actually running the Linux version of the game, the x86 version being translated from x86 using Fex and using these new Vulkan drivers running this game in OpenGL. Now I did try opening this up using the Vulkan launch parameter. However, it seemed to crash quite frequently, so I decided to move on. Next up, we're looking at Dark Souls Remastered. This game is the Windows version of the game. This is running through DXVK, so it's translating DirectX 11 to Vulkan and making use of the new 1.3 Vulkan driver. So if you want to enable Mango HUD on your game, just make sure to add the launch command Mango HUD percentage sign command percentage sign, and this will add it to your game. And I'll tell you what graphics API is being used. Here we're running through DXVK and it's capped at 60 FPS, despite the fact that we're running this on basically default settings at 4K. Next up, we're looking at Control. So this is a game that was demonstrated by Alyssa on stage. Again, this is running through DirectX 11 and being translated to Vulkan using DXVK we're getting about 30 to 35 FPS at 1080p on high. Here I'm controlling with my Xbox Series controller, which is paired via Bluetooth to Asahi Linux, and it seems to work great. Next, we're going to answer the age-old question, can you run Crisis Remastered on this machine? And yes, you can. Asahi Linux manages to run this great. This is DirectX 11 running through DXVK on very high preset at 1080p. Controller support seems to be working straight out of the box just fine. And we're able to get about 45 to 55 FPS running this game, which isn't too bad, considering how demanding this game can be, especially on single core performance. So one of the reasons why games are so smooth is the fact that when you actually launch a game, Steam is going to process the Vulkan shaders, which basically means less shader compilation stutter, which is something that plagues running Windows games through macOS pretty badly, even through something like Crossover. So here I'm testing out Skyrim running at 4K at ultra quality. I did actually try to turn down the settings, but was having some issues with the launcher menu. This wouldn't let me make any selections, so I just pressed the play button and tested it out at the highest settings anyway. This is getting about 30 FPS at this resolution, which is not too bad considering this is 4K. Now my testing live stream, the fact is that many games didn't actually work, including a lot of the Vulkan games that I tried. So Detroit Become Human can't be played on the Mac because it uses Vulkan, something the current translation layers and crossover can't really handle. And although in Asahi Linux I can boot up the shader compilation screen, it's going to crash without ever getting into the game. However, one title that does work surprisingly well was Doom 2016. And this is really exciting because this doesn't work on any translation layers on the macOS side. Here we're running the OpenGL 4.6 version. You can see some of the detailed stats on the right hand side here. This is running pretty well at 50 to 60 FPS on the medium graphics preset at 1080p. There is something a little bit wrong with the rendering. It does feel a little bit more red than normal. However, once you're in game, it feels extremely smooth. Later, I did some recording through my capture card. I also tweaked the settings to 1080p high instead to see if it could handle it. And here the colors are even more distorted, something to do with the way that Asahi Linux handles the HDMI output at the moment. But again, it manages to play extremely smoothly. There's barely any kind of stuttering. The gameplay is quick and responsive, works great on the controller. Apart from the fact that we have these kind of color rendering issues, this is a very playable game and probably one of the best examples of why Asahi Linux is such an exciting project. It means that we can get games like this, which can't run on macOS, working on the same Apple Silicon hardware at very high frame rates and delivering a very playable experience. Anyway, the Asahi Linux project is really exciting. We're just at the beginning of the testing period. Many games do not work, but plenty do. So please make sure to leave a comment if you tested anything that does work. Please also make sure to support the Asahi Linux team, which is an open source volunteer team only. Big thanks to everyone who worked on this, including Alyssa, Asahi Lina, and also Markan, who has a Patreon. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Make sure to contribute. It is criminally underfunded. Anyway, really excited about the future of Linux gaming on the Mac. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.